Okay, this is part one of uh, organizing a tackle box. We're going to start with one of the Plano organizers. And with that, we've got the original setup. This is gonna be for a later video. Um, all right, so let's start. What I like to do is first start with the weights, just because I mean, they're there. I mean, I have these little quarter ounce weights that I'm gonna grab all of them. Okay, and with this, what I like to do normally is start out, kind of put those guys in a corner like that. Then you're gonna take one of your dividers this is just how I like to organize my tackle box. Some people like to do it different. Slide that bad boy right in there. And then, um, from my experience, you kind of want to keep it a little bit even, which you can't really with this already pre-divided. Um, although I, these spacers come out, but that's for another case. I'm gonna stick my bullet weights right there. Add another divider. Sorry about my feet. If the divider will go in, hang on one second, a little difficulty. Is there a divider that goes this way? Okay, there we go. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is grab some of my hooks. I'm going to actually start with these guys right here. These are my laser trakar. I believe they were circle hooks. Um, but very sharp, so you got to be kind of careful. I'm going to put these guys right here because I don't use them as much. I do use my weights a lot though. So we're going to set those guys up in there. Up in there, up in there. Grab another divider, stick that guy. Oh, stick the divider incorrectly, don't go sideways with it. Now, beside that, I'm going to grab my Aberdeen hooks, which are these gold hooks right here. If it'll focus, I'm gonna put those guys right there. This is kind of a boring video, but this quarantine thing, I've got nothing better to do. Okay, now let's go ahead. Now I've got those. I do use those kind of frequently, but I can keep the Aberdeen a little bit separate compared to that. Now, I kind of got a pre laid hook. I kind of just like to put those guys like right there. That, that's like the pre set up hooks. Now, let's throw my, these hooks, I know they're dirty, they're rusty, I need to get some new ones, but because I've been using these hooks since probably 2008, they're well overdue, I'm being swapped. Set those guys in there, put another divider in, which leaves me another kind of big space, so I'm going to kind of try to go with my next big hook, which is my worm hooks. There's someone who told me these were worm hooks. I don't consider these worm hooks. I'm gonna put those there. This is what I consider a worm hook because it gets a little bit of a better thing, which I will upload a video about that. That's where I have that worm there. I'm gonna set this guy right in there. Put another divider up. Now, let's grab this guy, which this is another hook that will be explained in another video for this frog. Set that bad boy right in there. Which gives me room for another a divider. Again, sometimes these things like going crooked. Make sure you're getting them in there correctly. Because I'm an idiot and sometimes don't do that. Actually, that might not work. Oh, trial and error. So, not gonna put that hook in there yet. Just 
because I don't like leaving a lot of space. So, next I'm going to actually put this guy right there so that I can grab my jig head, which I will put in there. And then beside the jig head, I'll put another spacer right there. Which now I'm going to put all of these guys. I know I kind of have my swivels together, um, but I'm okay with digging through them a little bit. This guy right here, I will move to the side. Same thing with this guy because they are not used as much as well as this guy and i guess this guy too well, those are my backups for when i'm running low okay but yeah so put those guys in there i'm gonna set the phone down so i don't make you guys feel sick while i'm doing that fun part. Now I can put my frog hook right there. Again, I know I said I don't like wasted space, but I'm going to have to waste some space. But not really. Okay, now that that's there, let's go ahead and go with my Gamagatsu. I believe these are size 1. I like these guys. They work great for pretty much any use when it comes to like shiners, bait, and other stuff. Those I can put right there. I'm going to do that real quick. So now normally with these empty spaces right here, I like to kind of leave them open that I can like throw those in there and or like say that I have a hook like an or or something, just toss it in there until later. But I'm going to actually use this space for my bobbers. I can set those in there because I mean, I'm going to use those two, just not as much. And then that still leaves me with two open spaces to put other objects in if I need to. So for the finished product for hook organization, that is the setup right there.